elbow inside of his armpit, and my elbow has now got to back up, so I don't like where his arm's at. I've got to make his arms go backwards like this. This is the knee that I'm going to control. One, because I'm going to put my hand on it and control it. Two, because if I put my hand on this one, he can knee me in the face. Because in self-defense, or even dudes, when you start doing stuff, they'll try and buck and move. This is the knee you want to control. Okay? I like this side control more than regular side control. He can't see what I'm about to do. You know what I'm saying? He <laughs> didn't even know what I just did. He didn't even know what I just did. But it's also easy to mount. Okay? Knee on belly. Right? He's like defending the mount with his legs. It still doesn't matter compared to the, the defending the mount with his leg here. With your defending the mount. Yeah, so this becomes more of a problem for me here, and it's harder for me to get knee on belly. So like when I do mount or attack the legs or anything, there's also like just easy leg transitions right here that you can do. You know, like he can't see those. He doesn't know what's going on in your mind. He can't see your eyes. He doesn't know what's up. This knee and the hip at the belt line is imperative. If you do this, you will get your back taken. This is a six inch difference between me smashing and being in control and him taking my back. So you make sure that this knee is in the hip and I'm back here. I'm also sliding my hips. You can have your hips on the ground or on his shoulder a little bit. Either way is fine, okay? But I want his arms to be doing this, not framed up on me like that, all right? So I'm here. I'm gonna control this leg, and I, want, I like to open his leg up. Now, I can open it up like with my foot, right? Or I can open it up with my heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. I can even sometimes get a little bit of a tap, see him tapping, because my knee's pushing into his hip and I'm testing his hamstring just by opening his leg. But this opens it up far enough for me to now be able to put my weight on my knee and my hand and I can triangle my legs, look. So I secure the triangle. The unfortunate part about this though is, Jackson, switch me, switch. Underneath, yep, no, 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 underneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I got his knee underneath and he took my back, okay? So, if I go with a free hook or even with the triangle, Jax can do, still do the switch. He'll get his knee, go ahead, yep, pushed me through, and now he's taking my back. He can also <coughs> use, use this leg, you can't tell if you use that leg to flex a little bit, lift my weight, and then slid his bottom leg underneath. So, what do we do to stop the switch? We put him in the fishnet, okay? So I come over here, I take my hand, I go flat, all the way down as much as possible, like to the elbow. I prefer to go to the elbow. Don't do it fast, Jackson, but if I leave my arm up like this, you see how he scissors his legs and now I can get my arm busted? Right, scissors your legs a little bit, Jackson? Yeah, see, I don't like that feeling at all. So that's why it's elbow down and I'm gonna cup. This also means he has no free mobility of his bottom leg, which means he cannot switch the truck on me. He still can, however, push off of my back and then start sliding down and stuff like that, right? So we wanna put the love handle in. So I'm gonna put my hand underneath his, his ribs and then turn my thumb face up like a fist. I wanna do this above his hip bone so that his hips will run into my forearm and my hand and he won't be able to push backwards. So watch me do this now. So I'm here, switch your side control, I pull him over, I get underneath his leg and then I'm just gonna rock and get my forearm under. I don't need to connect my hands. Now I'm gonna put my, try and push now, Jackson. I'm effortless. He's pushing me and I'm, he's, I'm a boulder. I don't have to use anything. This is what I meant about old man jujitsu earlier. Like literally, I'm taking a breath right here. I'm in charge. He's not tapping me. I ain't got no kimuras he's gonna do. He's got no arm drags. His half guard sucks right now. Like everything, right? So now I'm sitting there chilling. It's gonna be very difficult to try and do it like this. Some of you guys can. I feel bunched up. So I put all of my weight on my left knee. But I keep it in his hip. So now I'm able to open this up if I need to and try and do it. Or I got my heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Open it up a little bit and then get it triangled. Does that make sense? So now I can connect my hands and roll through. Number one, I've got the crotch ripper, which is towards his head. Towards his head, not the banana split sideways. You'll notice that this foot hits the ground a lot. So what I'll do is I'll reach behind my head, pull this foot out, and now I'm here. I can also grab the calf's crush and the calf slicer is much easier from here than it is from the banana splits. You notice it's right here. So like whether I'm triangled or extended, I could bring it in, it's right here. I grab the toes. If I grab the, the laces, he'll extend. Go ahead and extend jacks, and it's gonna be a problem. Go ahead and extend jacks, effortless. I'm chilling, no energy. I stomp on my foot. If you can't stomp on your foot, go ahead and use the triangle. Ultimate power, stomping on the foot. Pull the toes, bam, okay? So then if I also wanna to go to the banana splits, watch how I just rotate this hand around. 
go to the triangle. So, knee in the hip, twist your side control, grabbing the IT band on the inside of his knee, pulling it over sideways, getting my arm underneath his leg, rocking him so that I can get underneath his back with that forearm, making sure that my fist, not a flat hand, is facing thumb up. Now it's about getting that leg stretched out. Do not let your knee cruise down here. Where does it need to stay? Like the hip or what? I, I say the belt line even more, right? So now I'm here, I can open his leg up in whatever fashion. Here's a cool little thing. Let's say that you take, uh, Jackson, take your left foot and put it behind your right knee. Okay, some guys are like, yo, I know what you're doing. All right, I'm gonna take my right heel and peel it off. Okay, you can always test their flexibility, remember? Or I lock in the triangle. You just gotta finagle that leg in the right spot. So now I'm here, connect my hands around his leg. I'm gonna do like a half roll, quarter roll, because I want this to go towards his face instead of the full truck. I'll do the full truck real quick, but I could just roll right into this. That's not a problem, right? But if you wanna test out that crotch tripper first, then you do like a half a roll. I'm trying to straighten this leg out because I know it's gonna be a problem already. I'm here. Can even press down towards his face. Casey did ballet. Right. Calf slicers right here. Banana split. Now, if I wanted to go to the calf slicer from the truck, I would have to transfer back out to the toes with my left hand this time. Don't want him to kick me in the head or extend or anything. So I pull that behind my face. I bring my knees to my chest and I try and grab the toes. If you notice, go ahead and extend, Jackson. This is far harder for me to get than it is in the crotch trigger. Doesn't mean it's never there, but it's still harder. I want to walk up and grab the toes. Again, if I grab here, he can extend, and I won't be able to get it. Let's say he does extend, and I can't get it no matter what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rock and sit up, because he can't extend through the floor. Look. Got it. Now I can pull back from right here. Do not grab with this arm. The only thing he can do is arm bar me. Tap. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Do not grab the calf slicer with the inside arm. Last time. You guys tracking right now? Yes, sir. Like a two toe bronco sort. Don't even know that. Maybe Brando. Where's Lane? Yeah. <laughs> can go for this, but then he switches me. Don't want to do that. Been there, done that. And most of my first black belts at least, Levi, Devin, Johnny and them, they're all 50 pounds lighter than me. So they're faster than me. They hit that switch so fast. Devin's not here right now, he's at work, but Jesus, they switch so fast. I have to wrap around their body. I have to wrap around their legs. Whether I'm doing the D'Souza control, wrapping around their hips from turtle, trying to attack the truck so they can't switch then. So what I'm saying, go back to turtle. So what I'm saying is like, this prevents the switch from here too. You see what I mean? but I don't, get, I don't get that grip all the way around this far hip from side control. So I have to grab here and just block it up. Make sense? Run through it and switch. Ready, set. 